The heat and gases from magma beneath active volcanoes often produce interesting thermal effects on the surface of the ground. Heat and gases may escape from the magma reservoir through fissures and vents to the surface. If there is a source of water, then hot springs may occur. A walk on the flanks of Rincon de la Vieja volcano in Costa Rica reveals a number of fumaroles, thermal springs, and mud pots. The chemistry of the springs varies in concentration. Activity within them depend on the source and supply of gases. If sulfur dioxide is emitted and dissolves in water, the resulting spring may be a concentration of sulfuric acid. The colors seen in the water are the result of acids reacting with a high concentration of iron and other minerals in the soil. Hydrochloric, sulfuric, and fluoric acids dissolve minerals in the surrounding rock, producing intense colors. The continuous bubbling indicates the continuous venting of gases from the magma. When water is insufficient to maintain a lake or spring, the chemistry of the wet soil may keep it in a state of continuous activity. Gases such as hydrogen sulfide may be converted to sulfuric acid, which breaks rock down into wet clay mud. These mud pots erupt the gas and steam in the form of bubbles. Hydrogen sulfide, steam, carbon dioxide, and other gases explode upward through the layers of mud, creating the bubbling effects. Temperatures in such mud pots may exceed 130 degrees Celsius. Many times, hot springs such as those on Rincon de la Vieja can look inviting, but they are to be respected as being extremely hot and life-threatening to anyone who would venture in. In addition, they are highly acetic and would immediately chemically burn the skin. These are not hot springs for medicinal bathing, but to be respected as direct connections to the heat from a very active volcano. Hiking in such regions could be life-threatening to those unaware of the dangers lurking nearby.